So I'm going to get started. I wish we could be doing this in person, but welcome to the Souderton Business Improvement District Annual Meeting and first public hearing for reauthorization. I'm Liz Peitzman, coordinator of the Souderton Bid, and tonight I'm joined with members of our District Advisory Council, as well as Christina DeVirgilis, manager of Souderton Telford Main Street, a few housekeeping things, working with the Zoom. We are gonna be starting off with a presentation and everybody will be muted except for the speakers. And this will be followed by a question and answer period. Please type in your questions in the chat and we will get to your questions at the end. And then during the Q&A, you can um, use the reactions at the bottom of your screen to give a thumbs up so that we know that you would like to speak if you have a question or something to share. Um, and this meeting is also being recorded and will be shared for those who are not able to attend. Next, we will have Margaret, our chairperson. She's going to be giving us an overview. Hello, Souderton. Um, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, I've been in Souderton for about three and a half years as a business owner and a property owner, and uh, it's a privilege talking to you tonight. Five years ago, a group of Souderton businesses and property owners, recognizing the need to support and promote businesses in Souderton, banded together and formed the Business Improvement District, or BID, to address the need. Over the last five years, the bid has supported our businesses in many ways. Some of the projects we've taken on include free advertising for bid businesses on the digital sign, which is viewed by many drivers each day, hosting our super popular third Friday events, placing business spotlight interviews on social media. And I should uh, actually pause here and mention that uh, these have been so successful in generating interest for our local businesses that if you have a business that you would like to get that kind of exposure for, uh, please contact us through our website. We've also run the $5 give back program to jumpstart patronage of bid businesses at the beginning of the COVID shutdown, sponsored a three-part coronavirus economy webinar, and installed a number of beautification projects that our local artists and residents, Perry Boardman is going to talk about in a little bit, and we're just getting started. We want to encourage more residents and visitors to eat, shop, and play in Souderton. So how are we going to do that? Our original authorization was for five years. That authorization expires this year, which gives us the opportunity to consider where we want to go and how we're going to get there. Realizing that we are one community, we want to welcome all Souderton businesses into the bid so we can succeed together. To do this, we're increasing our geographic boundaries to include the entire borough of Souderton. However, we will not be increasing the assessment rate. Additionally, we understand that it's been confusing to have two organizations, BID and Souderton Telford Main Streets, both serving the community, but in different ways. To gain clarity and focus upon reauthorization, the BID and Main Streets will reform into one new organization called Souderton Connects. Uh, that will be happening early 2021, assuming we are reauthorized. We will be laser focused on Souderton, while Telford will create a structure that best supports their community. We'll have a new brand, a new logo, and a new sense of energy, powered by a large group of community volunteers, further beautification of Souderton through public art and landscaping, better collaboration with the borough, crowd-pleasing community events, focused economic development, and getting the word out to the greater Philadelphia area that Souderton is amazing. Thank you for joining today's meeting to learn more about our exciting plans to bring you a reauthorized, supercharged, focused bid, soon to be Souderton Connects, that connects Souderton businesses, the borough, residents, and visitors for the benefit and enjoyment of all. Almost forgot to unmute myself. Okay. <laughs> um, for marketing, marketing is one of the best ways to grow your business. It's so important to have an online presence, social media profiles, a Google business listing. You can find social media resources like these on our website. 
and we can help you get the word out by tagging at Souderton Bid. Christina and I have had so much fun doing the business spotlights with Souderton, and we've seen our enga more engagement with the new video format. We're seeing an increase in traffic with our um, social media, and we're going to continue to do more uh, Souderton business spotlights. Please contact me if you're interested in getting your business spotlighted. The borough and the county planners have helped us in collecting something called ESRI data. It's something that basically helps us to target marketing for your business so that you know that the time and money that you're investing will bring you the most in return. Looking to the future, our new website will be geared towards being the go-to site for Souderton. It will have all events, learning opportunities, local businesses, local news, job and real estate listings, and economic development opportunities. This is an example of what a listing will look like for each business on our new site. Anna Locker is working on creating a portfolio of professional photography for use on our site and social media. The Satterton Connects website is scheduled to launch this fall. The most exciting news is our partnership with Enroute Marketing in a new campaign to market Souderton as a destination and reach new audiences. They are working on putting together a media kit for all of our businesses. A professionally designed marketing program helps you build a strong reputation and will ultimately establish a following for Souderton as a whole. Next, Matt Godshell will be presenting about networking. Hey everybody, thanks Liz. Thanks everybody for being on the call here this evening. I know everyone's got enough on their plate, but uh, certainly an important time for the bid um, in this merger as we move forward. So um, I am I'm sure like a lot of you are missing the face-to-face -face connectivity, the networking um, that we've become so accustomed to and unfortunately is, has been, um, you know, really taken from our grasp. So I guess in, as we look at networking, I want to talk a little bit about past, present, and future. Um, some of the things that we've done uh, during the COVID pandemic response time, but also prior to that, um, we had partnered with uh, Steve Huntsberger in the Indian Valley Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we had posted stuff on our social media. We had also uh, really ramped up our, um, our website as well. So you could access ribbon cutting announcements, um, those that participated, upcoming ribbon cutting, new businesses that have come to town and how to engage with them and participate in that type of an activity. Um, you can also get information from the chamber on golf outings. There's a 50th anniversary coming up for them here. Um, so again, we would be able to, to plug you in through uh, the website to be able to access information on how to participate in that. In addition to COVID resources and webinars, how to be uh, engaging with like-minded businesses as they're challenged with a lot of the same, um, a lot of the same issues that, that you're currently facing. So some of the things um, that we kind of put on the back burner for right now would have been a business card exchange. I know Liz and Christina and some of the other folks have done a great job at re-engaging in that. Um, we're hoping to, to potentially do it here um, virtually. Um, in the absence of an actual physical business card exchange. And then hopefully once we get the green light to start doing more communal type events, uh, we would hope to have the business card exchange back up and running. Um, in addition to other events, in the past we've done, um, of course, the third Friday, the night markets um, in conjunction. Again, some of this is, is, is Main Street, some of this is bid. But again, as we work together in the future, we'd certainly like to um, you know, facilitate more of those type of opportunities for community members and businesses alike. Um, we're also looking at a Facebook uh, engagement group um, that, let's say, uh, restaurant owners would have their own group on Facebook, and you guys could be able, uh, you'd be able to, um, you know, participate in that group to talk about uh, some things that you'd like to see come to Satterton, potentially partner and collaborate to bring businesses, um, you know, to your mutual respecting businesses. Um, 
same applies for retail and professional space as well. So uh, again, more to come on the, the Facebook uh, groups as we, as we look to, to get everyone, you know, some more face-to-face -face time uh, virtually. And I guess last but not least, we wanna hear from you guys. Uh, we certainly don't have all the answers. We don't pretend to, to know it all. Uh, we're here to represent you and we'd certainly like to hear your ideas. So if you think that there's uh, better ways to network or additional ways to expand on what we're currently doing, please reach out to Liz. Um, you know, we are eyes and ears wide open and certainly wanting to work with the community and our borough and our main streets and, and really be one unified force. So, Thanks again, everybody, for your time. Thank you, Matt. Next, we have Harry Boardman. Hi, everybody. Um, uh, I'm Harry Boardman. I'm your local artist and uh, property owner, resident, and uh, my wife and I own Exhibit B Gallery here on Main Street. So we're a little bit of everything. I'm here to talk about beautification tonight. Um, I wanna to talk about public art and unique touches that the bid is working on to provide special moments and surprises to new and returning visitors to Satterton. Um, these uh, special touches and unique things to our town also convey that this place is cared about and improved upon with intention, which means a lot to our visitors. Um, some of the projects you may recognize or look to recognize very soon are, um, the cafe lights on Main Street, they make the sidewalk safer and add much needed lighting during our third Friday events. Um, you'll see them on the screen in the left side. Uh, we have community flower pots, which add a pop of color and charm and a little bright, lively color here in town. We have a new mural in the underpass on East Chestnut Street. It replace a much loved but really weathered and destroyed mural with a bright new day night theme painting. I was uh, really proud and excited to be able to volunteer my time to do that last fall. Um, we have one-of-a-kind handmade seating uh, area coming to Main Street near the public parking lot by Red Brick Office Suites. Um, this will add unique colorful seating uh, made by local artists. It'll provide a perfect spot to sit, enjoy the town, add some color, catch the right kind of attention. It's a place to meet and eat meals outdoors from one of our local restaurants and a place for community members to gather around. Um, sorry, it looks like my video might not have been on. <laughs> um, and the last one that I wanna talk about is Southerton Headlines, which is a great project that blends public art with a business directory. We had eight vintage newspaper vending machines um, donated to us. We had murals painted on them by eight different local artists from different towns around us and um, throughout the region. There'll be maps placed on top of the machines, permanently mounted and a directory on the other side so that people who come to our parking lots and um, more populated, busy shopping areas here in Southerton will be able to find other businesses in the town. Uh, we look forward to more projects like this to continue this effort in the next five year term. Thank you, Harry. Next we have Christina talking about our events. Hi everyone. So events are exciting. Those are things that bring not only our local community together, but it brings a lot of people into our community, which is what we want to focus on is showing how great Souderton is. So as we move forward to merge with Souderton Connects, um, our event schedule is going to grow. It will now include the third Fridays along with the other Main Street events uh, that we are currently doing. So we'll have a really nice robust um, schedule that we can provide to the community of fun involvement and something that's going to draw people in to our community from the outside to see how great it is, like I said before. Um, the new collaboration will also allow us better communication uh, for our events. It will allow us better event production. Uh, vendor communication is going to be even uh, more increased with extra marketing. And we are looking at potentially adding some more community events in a different fashion uh, moving forward. So short and sweet, 
but I think it's a really great way to uh, showcase our community and bring people from the outside in so that they want to stay and they want to visit more and they want to shop more and eat more in our town. Thank you so much. Thank you, Christine. Same. Um, next, John Reynolds talking about collaboration. Thanks, Liz. Um, hi, folks. Whether you know or not, I am John Reynolds. I am the mayor of the borough of Southerton. I am also a bid member. I own and operate uh, Southerton Physical Therapy and Balance Center on Green Street downtown. And I'm a member of the DAC. I've been a member of the DAC just for the last couple of years. But quite honestly, I've been a member of this entire institution or, or participated for well over 20 years. Back in 1999, the borough started talking about forming the uh, Southern Community Development Corporation, which ended up being Southern Main Streets, which is now um, shooting off or which in the last five years is, has uh, had an offshoot of uh, the bid, the Business Improvement District. And now we're going full circle and uh, combining those two institutions. Um, I'm here to tell you that uh, I've, been, I've been associated with uh, the borough in, in many respects for over 25 years, but I am very happy to let you all know that the borough has been very supportive of Southerton Telford Main Streets as well as the Southerton bid. Um, the main streets we have supported for over 20 years uh, and we and, and the borough council endorsed a bid study and formation uh, for the initial improvement by the business district five years ago. Uh, the borough helped to create initial boundaries, boundaries for the business improvement district and continues to provide data for bid owners and properties to the uh, business improvement district so that we know who is a part of this district, what their status is, and yes, how much they may owe as, uh, as members of the bid. The uh, borough endorses the updated 21, 2021 to 2026 uh, bid reauthorization plan. Uh, the bid and the DAC have come to Borough Council regarding uh, the reauthorization of the bid, and uh, the borough has given uh, their their gung ho support to that uh, potential. Um, we've the borough and the business improvement district have worked together on several different projects. Um, for one, the digital sign. Many of uh, the members of BID have their advertisements on the digital sign up at the community park up on um, Main Street. Uh, that was a collaborative effort by the BID and Southerton Borough. Um, we're in the process now of, we just, uh, the borough just received a grant from the county to upgrade the Chestnut Street parking lot, uh, which has been an issue for years and years. Uh, the bid actually started talking about uh, doing upgrades to that parking lot. Uh, one of the members, Harry Boardman, uh, gave uh, initial um, design possibilities to the borough. The borough then gave those possibilities to our engineer. And uh, with those uh, engineering plans, we got uh, an approval, a matching grant for uh, improving that uh, parking lot from uh, Montgomery County. Um, and obviously the borough has been supportive of Third Fridays. Uh, we have provided uh, police support uh, for each and every one of those events. And I'm sorry that we haven't had one this year, but um, you all know that uh, Third Fridays is a phenomenal success and it's all inspired by the Business Improvement District. And believe me, the borough has uh, has uh, been fully in support of continued um, 
police support uh, for that for those uh, for those um, uh, third Friday events. The borough and the bid have been working side by side since the bids institution five years ago. And uh, quite frankly, I can't talk for borough council, but as mayor, I can guarantee that uh, I support the continued um, collaboration between the borough and uh, the South Business Improvement District. I think, I think the way that we can go forward with continued improvement and continued um, interest in our borough is to uh, fully support this BID and, uh, and um, continue with what we are doing uh, in that, in that uh, fashion going forward. Thanks, Liz. Thank you very much. Next, we have economic development. I get to talk about economic development because that is the thing that I think I'm most passionate about. Um, you will never hear an economic developer say the best things in life happen by accident. Uh, just doesn't work that way. Economic development is an investment of time, energy, and resources to evaluate the types of businesses a community needs to successfully grow, accompanied by the purposeful, intentional courting and support of those businesses. The budget for bid and main streets, soon to be Southerton and Connects, allocates 22% for economic development. Accompanied by a 14% allocation for marketing and advertising, we will have the means to identify which business categories and which businesses in those categories we should court. We'll market to prospective businesses and show why Southerton is the right community to bring their business into. Our economic development program will also include support for those businesses who do invest in Southerton so that we can ensure a successful partnership with the borough and our already established business community. We've always welcomed businesses into Southerton. We just haven't done it in as purposeful of a way as we intend to do. So that's, that's the change we're talking about here. Part of seeking the right kind of new businesses for Southerton is understanding what businesses are already here, what businesses people are looking for, how many dollars are leaving our community and being spent elsewhere, and the best areas to seek to draw visitors from, or businesses from. We've begun collecting demographic and marketing data through marketing experts, as well as through the Montgomery County Planning Commission's vast data repository, which is available to us thanks to the borough. Um, by the way, uh, we've added a link to our website, which lets you tap into that same data. You can find out how much traffic flows through Southerton each day, what the median income is, demographic segmentation, spending patterns, and much more. The data is fairly dense, however, so in 2021, we'll be offering assistance to our uh, bid members uh, to use that data in a meaningful way. A rising tide lifts all boats, and economic development brings about that high tide. The strong, healthy Southerton we want to build will lead to downtown revitalization, a healthy tax base for borough capital improvement projects, increased ability to receive state grant awards, decreased rental vacancies and increased rents, rising property values, and very importantly, opportunities to serve those in our community who are less fortunate. Southerton Connects wants to lead the way to strong, steady economic development for the betterment of our businesses and our community. Thank you, Thank Margaret. You. Um, Charlie Crown to give us a testimonial. Um, hi, welcome everybody. Um, I guess I have a, a little bit of a unique perspective. Um, being a member of the DAC, of the District Advisory Council and the BID, um, a property owner, um, a landlord, um, business owner, um, the, the BID at first, you know, I thought, ah, do I really want to pay a tax, another tax? And then I thought about it and the cohesive business community needs to be, needs to support itself. It needs, we need to work together. 
and there was nothing doing that. Okay, the chamber, a little bit, uh, the chamber has value for sure, but there was nothing that was targeting direct results on our business streets. So I volunteered to be on the Business Improvement District uh, Council. Um, and because one of the things that um, we found out in our original authorization for this was that um, in every place where there is a business improvement district, property values have gone up. And um, we own, uh, my wife and I own our, our town answering service building on Main Street. Um, we own several other uh, rental properties in town, uh, close to Main Street. And, uh, you know, it would be nice to see those property values go up. It would be nice to see uh, the ability to uh, create demand for those, those apartments, um, which, flows right into property values. Um, so I could see where it could work. Fast forward five years, um, I feel like, you know, we had a, 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 on the business improvement district, we had a couple of, um, you know, it was a little bit difficult getting started. I feel like we've really zoned in on what is going to be uh, profitable for the the business improvement district at this point with the economic development um, and the uh, other thing is I, you know, I feel like we have achieved a degree of momentum uh, in the town uh, with, you know, even despite, you know, pandemic 2020, we have managed to create some momentum in the town. Um, uh, in relationship to the bid, um, Kyle Hoff and I, uh, another member of the bid, um, started talking about, you know, what, the, the, what does the town need? And it, it was through that that we ended up partnering together in uh, the revitalization of the Broad Theater. Um, there's, there's um, you know, the Broad Street Pizza Guys, are, are building, uh, you know, an amazing restaurant next door, uh, you know, with, with the Broad Street Pizza, that's going to, that's going to help, you know, support that whole end of town. Um, you know, we've got, we've got some serious momentum going in Souderton, and I want to see it keep going. Um, so the bid has been uh, valuable, uh, I believe, to the business community, and I think it's only going to get better. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. All right, it is our question and answer time. Please remember to give us a thumbs up with your reaction so we can unmute you. Um, Remember, even the smallest idea can have the greatest impact, and we'd like to hear from everybody. Liz, can I join the discussion? Yes, thank you. I just want to uh, reassure people that are listening in, business owners, um, property owners, I, I've been part of uh, the district advisory committee of the bid for what a couple of years and I'll have to admit I mean I've, I've been on so many different committees and things regarding the borough that it's kind of hard to um, list them all but I am amazingly impressed with the people that are on the district advisory committee we have I mean everybody is either a business owner or a um, business associate, believe me, we have some very bright minds uh, that meet on a monthly basis 
and discuss everything from from um, how you sit on a concrete pad downtown to how you market the entire borough to do what it is what it is best for the for the uh, property owners for the business owners i am i am believe i am very impressed with uh, the people on the district advisory council i think everybody there is well qualified i mean more so than i am and um i think going forward it is a it is imperative that the borough of southerton have a has a, a voice and a, a means of uh, of putting our name out there for the entire Indian Valley community. Thanks, Liz. Thank you. I did have a couple questions come in earlier, um, actually about the board. Um, DAC members serve two years, and there are current seats for the DAC. Um, uh, the board is made up of five to nine members and its guidelines are consisting of individuals representing the community's character, including but not limited to age, gender, and cultural diversity. Liz, am I able to ask a question? Can you hear me? Yes, thank you. Uh, well, not a, even a, uh, just a comment. Um, this is Lou Fromm with Fromm Electric Supply. And uh, I just want to say that um, in, we, have, we have eight branches in different parts of Eastern, Northeastern and Southeastern uh, PA, even out to Central PA. And this is the only area where we have a branch that has such a, um, I guess a business improvement district or whatever it will be called. Uh, I just want to give kudos to the uh, business owners and um, property owners in the area uh, that have come up with this idea. I think it's great. Um, you know, I appreciate the opportunities that have come from being part of it. Certainly, um, you know, Harry working with you on street lighting and things like that, and and with the hopeful um, uh, involvement at the at the theater. So I'm hoping that can happen, but um, you know, take stock of the of the companies that are that are members of the BID when you're um, doing projects because they want to take care of their own, and we want to do the same with whatever projects are going on in the in the in the area. So um, you know, if you're doing a construction project, if you're doing a uh, you know putting art up somewhere, just there's some wonderful members of this of this bid. So we would. Um, appreciate to support any projects going on within the BID and um, know that we take special consideration in those situations to take care of our our friends our members fellow members thank you so much Liz did you see Allison's question yep that's what I was just gonna say <laughs> um, we have a question what is the current percentage of businesses in Satterton who are members of the bid. Um, right now we have about 140 businesses that are included in our Satterton bid. And that's in about 150 properties. So <laughs> we also have a question from Kim Cope. Since the bid will be doing more with Satterton, Telford, Main Streets, Will the Telford businesses be joining and contributing to the bin? Um, the current plan is that Telford will be creating something like Main Streets to do their own events. Um, the Satterton Telford Main Streets board has helped them prepare for the separation. We just had Somebody say not a question, but they wanted to comment um, that this was a fantastic job by everyone and glad that this pro program exists. So I made sure I thank them. Just a quick comment, if I may, Liz. Yes. So there's certainly, um, 
a number of individuals who are not present on this call. And there's certainly a fair amount of people that question whether or not the bid deserves to be in the position of support in our borough. Um, so for the naysayers or for anyone who's on the fence um, that did not participate in the call that is in your circle, um, we welcome you to have them reach out to any one of our DAC members um, or Liz, our coordinator. Um, we'd be happy to go through, you know, all the work that has been done and that we plan to do in the future. Um, so again, we just ask that, you know, you advocate if you're, if you're on that side of the fence, um, you know, join hands with us in doing that. So thank you. Thank you. Liz, we just had a question come in. Um, how and when is voting taking place? On or around September 28th, we'll be having our second public meeting. Uh, we'll probably present some of this material, but we'll try to freshen it up and get into maybe even more specifics. The, to answer the question, the end of the objection period will be November 12th. So um, hopefully that is helpful. Let us know if it's not. What, what objection period are you referring to? And I'm sorry if I missed that. Um, if somebody does not want the bid to be reauthorized, they need to submit uh, in writing, and I believe it needs to be notarized, um, their objection. Um, and that needs to be submitted by November 12th. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Another question just came in. Um, where and to whom is this to be submitted? So for the voting. Phil, um, you are about a step ahead of me, I think. I was just writing a note to myself to check where the vote is, uh, no vote is submitted to. This is my first uh, reauthorization. And so I'm not sure, but I will get back to you specifically and uh, we'll have that information for the next uh, meeting. Is voting for negative votes only? That is correct. Everybody, it's an assumed yes vote unless you uh, actively vote no. And, and these are not our uh, guidelines. These are the state guidelines, by the way. Well, if nobody else has any other questions right now and you think of something later on, um, please call me 215-723-6627 or you can email me at coordinator at soutertonbid.com. We can also set up a time to meet if you have, you'd like to talk in person. Um, there is an open invitation to share at our DAC board meetings. They are every second Wednesday of every month. Contact me ahead of time to make sure you are on the agenda. But thank you so much everyone for joining us tonight. Um, just one quick question. Where is this uh, gonna be posted? Uh, see it's recorded. Yes, it will be posted on our website, SouterTimBid.com, as well as on our social media, Facebook and Instagram at SouterTimBid. Great, thank you. And thank Liz, you yes. I just wanna let you know, a couple more comments came in. Thank you for your uh, presentation this evening. Uh, another one, thank you since we could not get together in person. And then the last one, this was very informative and well done, thank you all. Thank you so much. Again, contact me if you think of another question or an idea for Souderton. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. Have a great night.